COVID-19 is also disrupting the Colorado court system and the recent spike in cases is making matters worse. Nine News crime and justice reporter Matt Jablo joins us now with a look at the impact, Matt. Ryan, justice delayed is justice denied. Rarely has that old legal maxim been more on people's minds than it is right now here in Colorado. 18-year-old Kendrick Castillo was shot to death in May of last year while trying to subdue one of two gunmen who opened fire in the Highlands Ranch STEM school. I hope that we can move towards closure. Ever since that terrible day, Kendrick's father, John, has been eagerly waiting for justice for his son, but it has not been easy. The initial COVID outbreak delayed the trial of Kendrick's accused killer, and the recent rise in COVID cases could very well delay the trial even more. It could get worse or it could offer up more delays. I mean, there's a lot of unknowns. COVID is uh, throwing a whole new twist on the devastation of, of this case. In response to the alarming increase in COVID cases, several major Colorado court systems, including Denver, Boulder and Pueblo, have now postponed jury trials until at least January. Bad news for a court system already badly backlogged by the virus earlier this year. With the delays that put it where it is right now, it's just horrific. I mean, we're already well over a year since this event has taken place and uh, we don't really see any definitive end in sight. And crime victims and their families aren't the only ones deeply concerned about the situation. Many Colorado attorneys say the gridlock in the court system has essentially done away with their clients' constitutional rights to a speedy trial. It's a big, gloopy, gloppy, hideous mess. Mary Claire Mulligan is a longtime criminal defense lawyer based in Boulder. She says postponed trials are often not just a violation of defendants' rights, but a hazard to their health. Not only are they losing out in terms of the, their speedy trial and other due process rights, but they're stuck in the, in the jails, which are just hotbeds of COVID. When I asked Mulligan when she thought the Colorado court system would be back to normal, she said quite possibly never. Uh, just shows you how bad that backlog is, Matt. Uh, weird way to meet, but it's nice to have you here at 9 News. Thanks for joining us at 4 o'clock.